In the spiritual realm, I feel like a bodybuilder. So this year, I decided to spend time with God in the mornings. I set my alarm at 6 o'clock to spend time with God. And really pushing through, fighting my flesh. Because before, I would make excuses spending time with God. Like, God, every time I spend time with you, I'm tired. God, every time I spend time with you, I leave my secret place the same. I still get annoyed easily. I have a bad attitude. Like, what is happening? Is it even worth it? And so I just decided, I said, you know what? I'm just going to spend time with God. Regardless of how I feel afterwards, I'm going to press through and I'm going to spend time with God. And that is exactly what I did. At first, I was setting my alarm at 7 a.m. and giving God that hour because I think that was just the time where I just woke up. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to give you an hour, Lord. And for me, I like to just stay in my room because if I leave my room, then I am tempted to go say hi to my dogs. I am tempted to say hi to my family members. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna stay in this room. I have a notebook right here, ready, right next to me because I know that I'm gonna have thoughts, I'm gonna have ideas of what I need to do and this, I should work on this. And, and I said, I give you my all, Lord. I give you my yes and I give you my all. I carry a notebook with me. So I write down these thoughts, these ideas that I have and then I keep it pushing. And so I just, was consistent. I met God at the same time and I was giving him my attention. At first, what it looked like was just me praying, me talking to God for an hour, and then I did what I needed to do. That's how I was at first. Then it slowly started to develop. And so with my work schedule, it's kind of hard. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings, I don't get to spend time with him because I work the overnight and I don't set that time. I was before and I, I would go into my secret place which was my car and so I would spend time with God in my car but I haven't done that lately because it's cold, too cold to go in my car. Maybe when it starts to warm up but I don't even think I'm going to be at this job when it starts to warm up so I will have that time with God consistently in the morning but I come home and then I sleep until 12. And then so I have an hour, and that hour I worship the Lord, I pray before I go into my second job. But that's just how it first started off is 7 to 8, and then it started to become earlier, then it was 6 a.m., and then 5 a.m. So just depending on the day, I wake up at 5, 6, 5 o'clock on Sundays because I, I serve and I help set up. So I gotta wake up earlier because I gotta be at the school at 6.30. So on those days I wake up at 5 a.m. and then... On the days that I don't work my overnight, I wake up at 6 a.m. And I'm also learning my body that if I sleep nine hours, then the then the day will be hard for me. It will, you know, I'll be so tired and it'll just be hard. So it's, it's kind of cool understanding my body. But asking God in the mornings to fill me up. To fill me up and give me the strength. And then so the first hour was just me talking to God at the beginning. And now I'm starting to read the Bible in the mornings with God. Kind of splitting up my, my Bible plan because I could have four things to read. And so I'll just read two things and then I'll still save some for the rest of the day. It's been amazing. He's been speaking to me in his word and just understanding it better. And it has just changed my life. I would just say it has changed my life. Starting this new routine of spending time with God before I do anything. I've just been doing stuff that I never even imagined myself doing. And the crazy thing is, is that I don't know what I was thinking. But before when I used to just work the overnight, I had all the time in the world. I had all the time in the world. And I still had the nerve to say, I don't have time. Girl, what? I had all the time in the world. And now my time is being stretched, but my goodness, God is moving. Like, I'm just, I'm still in shock. I'm mind blown of what God has been doing in my life in this season. And he just, he just has me where he wants me. Because if I thought I didn't have time before working two jobs and serving at the church and meeting up with my friends, having Bible study, if I didn't think I had time before, that's crazy. Because now I really don't have time, but it's like, it's been pushing me. It's been pushing me to really press in with God. Like that little time that I have is taking advantage. Like when I work 
the overnight and those three days pressing in in that hour before I go into work and then still having that time when I when I get off work to press in and how I pressed in this year beginning of this year is that I started to fast on Mondays and you know this year I just decided you know what no longer is my flesh gonna be in control this isn't the flesh Myra show this is the Jesus show so this year is also a year to discipline myself because I'm not gonna lie I haven't fasted in a really long time probably since last summer and I wasn't consistent it was just like, eh, whatever, whenever, whenever I felt like it. But this year is standing my ground, getting into the habit of fasting, getting into the habit of praying. And in this season, my schedule is just so busy that that's how God is just changing my life. It's just giving me the strength to be able to get through each day. Just being able to do the things that I'm doing now is just beautiful. It's just amazing how God is just moving in my life and just how I had doubt, like, how, Lord, how... What's impossible for me is not impossible for him. And because he loves me and he cares about me, he's gonna fill me up and give me the strength. Let the weak say I am strong. Yesterday, I watched a video and it was kids praying for seven hours. And that really pushed me. I'm like, what? It made me realize how much time I spend on social media. It's insane. And that's what the enemy wants you to do is to be a comfortable Christian. Eh, prayer is really not that important. Eh, fasting is not really important. God loves you. God's gonna listen to your prayers. God, God is gonna, always gonna be there for you. How is it that other religions pray to their gods for hours? And us Christians, we don't pray. That's crazy. You know, I was just sitting there yesterday, reading my Bible, and then I clicked on this video and it just inspired me. It just like whoop, brought me back to life. And it made me press in. And I pressed in for an hour, praying, really pushing myself in prayer. And I'm like, what would I have done in this hour? I would have been on social media. I would have been on Facebook. I would have been on Instagram. I would have been on TikTok. Doing what? Absolutely nothing that would edify me. And in a video, I said, this is the year where we gather, that we're gathering together. And this month, I want to take advantage of the time that I have to do as much as I can because in March we're starting something new at our church. So just wanting to press in, gathering God's people together to worship, to pray, not be no comfortable Christians and really be some prayer warriors. I've seen this guy's testimony. It's going viral right now and it has sparked something in in all of us to want to pray. He was an ex-witch, an occultist, high-ranking uh, witch, and he was exposing the enemy, sharing them secrets, you know? And it, it watching his video just really inspired me. It inspired me to want to pray and how serious it is and how the enemy wants you to not care to pray. Prayer is very, very important. Prayers can save somebody. Prayers can break chains, strongholds, generational curses, and just walking in your authority. Watching those videos and really pressing in with God this year has really just changed my life. Like really being stretched out, but still having the strength? No, that's all God. That's all God, because ain't no way. God is so good. And just how he's just making a way. And all I did was say yes. And I stepped out in faith. I said, okay, I trust you. And God wants that from you. He just wants your yes. He wants you to step out in faith. I encourage you to make time for God. Set your alarm and see how God will transform your life. It has changed my life. Like in the spiritual realm, I feel like a bodybuilder. I feel like a bodybuilder. Like I'm... I feel strong. I've never felt that before. And I just, I love it. I love it here. I love the season where I'm at right now with God. I love just knowing that when my alarm goes off, that I get to spend time with God. And please, 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 do not get your coffee. Don't pick up your phone. Just give God your attention. You don't need that coffee to spend time with God. You don't need this thing, whatever it is. You don't need this thing to spend time with God. God just wants you, just you, just you. 
you don't think God is going to fill you up when you spend time with him? You don't think he's going to give you that supernatural strength to get through each day? If he, if he could do it in me, he could most definitely do it for you. Just come to God in your obedience. And another thing too is repentance. This is what I do before I pray. Is I repent of known, unknown, seen, and unseen things that I do. Search me, O God, that I may not sin against you. I could be doing something that's offending God. I could be doing something that is in disobedience. God wants you to walk in obedience. Obedience is so important. And repentance. Repentance is an ongoing thing. Because we're human. We're not perfect. We mess up. And that might offend God at what you're doing. By asking him, Lord, reveal to me what it is that is displeasing to you. And he will show you. And you repent. Ask God for forgiveness and give it to him to help you. And he most definitely will help you. Because you don't want to carry that weight in prayer. You want to be light. Another thing too that I want to add is that praying in tongues is very powerful. Super, super powerful praying in tongues. I've been doing it a whole lot more. And that just makes me so much stronger too. Like praying in tongues and just spending that time with God. I just feel like a bodybuilder in the spirit, in the spiritual realm. Pray in the spirit, y'all. Please, I encourage you to spend time with God. And if you don't believe me, just try it out yourself and, and you'll see. You'll see it for yourself and how God will move in your life with your, with your obedience, with your yes, and with your faithfulness. And I'll just say a quick prayer right now. Lord, I pray that you give him the strength to make time for you, Lord Jesus. Give him the strength to be able to wake up, Lord Jesus, that they submit to the spirit and not their flesh. That they meet you, Lord. That they meet you at the time that they're going to wake up, Lord. I, I pray that they're consistent. I pray that you transform their life. I pray that they say yes to you, Lord. That you'll be waiting for them. That you look forward to that time, Lord. I just pray for a fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. I pray that you baptize them with the tongues of fire. In Jesus' mighty name. And thanks for watching. I pray that this encourages you to spend time with God. This is the year that we give our yes to the Lord. This is the year that we will see people's lives be transformed around us. Not only our lives, but the lives around us. And that we will be able to encourage others to want to pray and to spend time with God in the mornings. God deserves it all. He is worthy of it all. I love you. Jesus loves you. And God bless you.